day so we just picked up our package at FedEx um although it was supposed to be delivered to us and that's just a mess seriously FedEx you suck FedEx ground you suck not FedEx freight because FedEx freight's good but FedEx ground is incompetent <laughs> absolutely ridiculous we went to go pick up our package and she was like looking for it and we were like uh yeah it's supposed to be here before two and she was like yeah i was almost gonna say that it was in here but i just found it and i was like oscar goes what did you say babe don't do that to me <laughs> I w i'm just so out of energy to argue yeah exactly to argue and i definitely didn't want to drag another person into the situation you know um, but I had gotten a call this morning from someone from the FedEx Center in Athens where What do they call those those FedEx? <laughs> yeah, and They said oh um, Left me a voicemail saying that they attempted to deliver it my package twice and that usually they don't do a third time But they just want to make the most out of it blah 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 and I was like, okay no one delivered the package, nor, nor had they attempted to deliver the package. So I called back and I said, listen, we talked to like six people about this issue. So no one came, no one came the first time, most someone came the first time and didn't attempt to come over our driveway, and no one came a second time. So obviously they lied. It was like every person we spoke to lied. It was constantly like, oh, I, I, I didn't say that, I said this, and we we're like, no, that's not what you said because we would repeat what the customer service representative, representative would say to us and then we would they would say yes you know that exactly yeah it's gonna the package will be there before eight like it, it was just ridiculous anyways we got the package so um and then we stopped by the vitamin shop and got a few things because i am in desperate need of increasing my milk supply i decided to go ahead and pump today because i wanted to see what was going on and i know how the amount of milk that you pump is not always comparable to what your baby will eat but i know that if i am pumping like six ounces that dominic's eating about eight or nine ounces he would be on me and then he would start crying and pulling and he usually does that to my right side but because it doesn't produce as much so i expect it but my left side he would do that and that's the producer and basically if I don't like pump or feed and within six hours it starts to engorge and that's what was not happening so I pumped and I only pumped two ounces from my left side and two from my right which is two is a kind of average for my right it's really like crappy but for my left I pump six to eight and I only pump two so I'm trying not to stress out about it I'm going to go ahead and make sure I increase my water intake eat oatmeal every day I stopped doing that because I got tired of oatmeal but it definitely helped my supply obviously I bought some fenugreek tablets and drink my mother's milk tea and just continue doing that for a few days um, the brewer's yeast have lactation smoothies all that jazz so it really sucks because I you know I went to buy the supplements and I'm like you know it's better to spend $12 and $25 on this formula <laughs> You know but I didn't think that my supply would drop ever really it's been really good for this first seven months but Dominic has been introduced to solids and although he's still continuously eating for me I just feel like maybe that has something to do with it and also I have read that if you're ovulating or if you have a period it has something to do with it too but um, I almost feel like I'm gonna get my period I haven't had one yet but I feel this kind of sensation like I am so I don't know maybe that right now we're going to one of our favorite Colombian restaurants that have the best empanadas they are so freaking good they have the best food too but um empanadas yes we're gonna go there that person's like that person's like um I don't know where to go whoa did he run the red light yeah, he's like, I'm already halfway through the stream. Well, he had to. Where else he can go anywhere? He had to run the red light. Um, but they have such good food. So when we're, when we're down here in Buford, um, we sometimes stop by here. Not always, but once in a while. Like once every few months, really. Because we uh, don't come down here. I mean, we come down here. I want to 
say often, which is not around before drive often because we hate the traffic. <laughs> Hey guys, so we just got home a little bit ago. We put Dominic to sleep. Oscar's playing a video game. And mommy is super excited because I, this is my package, you guys. The package I was waiting for. And it is a Mac. And I am beyond excited. We haven't had a good computer in years. Um, really, I would say five, four years. Because when I met Oscar, he had a Dell that was really good. But then a couple of years ago, it just stopped working. And we took it to my aunt's husband who said it was just completely done. He works in IT. So he was like, it's just done. And that was a, a great computer. So... We have never really updated and gotten a better computer. We got an HP because I needed it for school and it had great reviews and it works great, but it's a very basic computer. Like it's just, you know, surfing the internet, maybe writing my papers, work on Excel, stuff like that. But I haven't uploaded in a few days, um, almost a week now because I couldn't upload videos anymore. This package was supposed to get here yesterday and you all know all about that craziness so we picked it up today at FedEx and I'm in love. Um, I knew I've been wanting a Mac, we've been wanting a Mac for years. We know that it is an investment but it is a good investment because we're going to have it for many years to come and I see why people start to become Apple people because it's amazing. <laughs> but I still love Samsung though, I mean I can't, I can't lie, you know. Samsung is pretty awesome, but computer-wise, I love the Mac. So, um, and then I had asked my aunt's um, husband, and he also said, he said, if you can, I would just get the Mac, because I asked him, I said, why don't you have a Mac? Because you're an IT person, you have, like, several computers that you work off, you're always helping clients, all this stuff, and he said, well, I just know how to deal with the inner workings of Windows and the viruses and all of that. He's like, I, I know how to do all of that. He's like, but for people like you who, you know, that's not your specialty, it's better to just get a Mac because it's an investment, but it's going to last you for many years, and you don't have to worry about any of that stuff, so amazing so um dominic is down for a nap and i was gonna exercise but guys my calves are killing me and i worked my calves out on monday and then tuesday they were all right wednesday yesterday were killing me and then today i worked them out a little bit more just kind of relieved so i had worked out my calves yesterday as well just like a little bit barely and stretched out and it still is killing me so I said you know what I'm just gonna take a break today I worked out um, Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and Sunday I think too so take a break today and then go ahead and continue working out tomorrow you guys these are the best empanadas ever they're from the Colombian restaurant and this is like this hot spicy sauce oh my god so good. I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog. Um, oh, this, it's so good. My grandmother, Colombian grandmother, makes the sauce exactly like this. So, so good. But I'm gonna say goodnight and I'm gonna, I'm finishing up folding some clothes. And uh, tomorrow is another day. I think it's supposed to be pretty out. So, yeah, um, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Thank you. Bye.